Hello! Welcome to Game Over Gurkha Man. This is Gurkha Man. And this is partner of uh, Conquer Live and Reloaded. And uh, apparently we're going to war. Who are my comrades in this battle? Hey, what's Who up? Wants my to go name first? is Joe. <laughs> I guess I'm going first. Uh, I'm Joe. Uh, I'm a dude. And. You just cut out for it. What are you? <laughs> what is it? He's a you, you, and no. you cut out. You're like, I am a. And that's about it. It was beautiful. Oh, sorry. I'm a 2D artist. There we go. Yeah. He was too busy watching the wonderful video game in front of us. <laughs> yep. And I am Adam. I'm a software engineer. I ROM hack as well, and I do other stuff. And, yep. And I am Casey McDonald, and I go about drawing backgrounds like there's no tomorrow. And I'm the best. The best there ever was. Awesome. At it. The drill then is the test. Oh. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Someone should have mashed those two songs together, actually. The Pokemon theme song and the You're the Best Around from the Karate Kid. Those go well together. So here, here's a question sure. I've noticed. Our, in our openings, that whenever you do, like, you're, oh, this is Gurkha Man, like, everyone has these super awkward pauses. Like, they're like, Who do, who's anyone going to go next? I'm yeah, usually I say in alphabetical order, but I didn't this time. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very awkward. <laughs> No, you're it's fine. I just thought good. it was funny. Sometimes it's good to be awkward because we're all nerds at heart, and if we're not awkward, then people won't realize that we're we're real nerds, and they'll think that this is all fake. That we're not legit. <laughs> I mean, I'm, 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 a, I'm a I'm a total. Which is what I'm buying into it. Uh, yeah. So we're going to war. This is where the game kind of picks up and then spits in your face, basically. I'd call the take segment <laughs> a spit in the face. Yeah, I always hear farted. people talking about how this is the best chapter and everything. It's 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 the most uneven chapter, I think. It has some of the best gameplay in the game and some of the worst gameplay in the game to me. <laughs> That's how I felt about it. What about you guys? How do you guys feel about this whole chapter? I I'm sort of of the same mind. There's a lot of like there's a lot of really long stretches of just kind of monotony, and then there's a lot of long stretches of really good stuff too. So. That's Adam. My take. Okay. How do you feel about this chapter? Do you, do you feel I like already we do? said, I thought it was one of the best chapters. Oh, I thought you said other people say it was one of the best chapters. Well, yeah, me and other people. Yeah, okay, I'll uh, go into more detail. Yeah. yeah, this is what the show's about. We've got an hour and ten minutes to fill. Alright, well, you know, like you said, uh, it feels a little uneven at parts, but it does have a nice flow to it once you actually get onto Teddy's Island and go into their headquarters and start shooting shit up. Until it all seems to flow nicely. It, you know, the story, the gameplay, hmm. feels nice. I just hate the take segment. It makes me cry every time. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of, like, I remember this part being incredibly hard on the Nintendo 64, like, to the point that I was just pissed by the time of it, or by the time I got to the end of it. Yeah, the puzzle on this part's really, really obtuse, it took me a while to work it out. Really obtuse. Um, yeah, like, why is that guy going to the bathroom? I can push him. Huh? Yeah, it's like, hey, there's a big B button, but nothing's happening. What do I have to do? Oh, I have to go to the bathroom and push a fucking TNT gnome around? Okay, I guess. This part, uh, it's it's oh, like this part what? was the most fleshed out. Yeah, like they must have spent, they must have spent a lot of time on this part of the game. The shooting but... feels very nice in this version of the game, I will say. Yeah. So, it, um, there was originally an eel thing where you had to swim underwater and get eels to electrocute um some currents or whatever. Ah. But here, you just pull oh, a yeah. switch. That's right, that was in the 64, wasn't it? Really? You had to yeah, get eels? Yeah, they got rid of it. You had to get Yeah, there was eels. electric eels in the water, and you had to, you had to make, get, they would chase you around, and you had to get them to swim through these, uh, these rings. Yeah. Well, I'm glad and that was cut, because the on. swimming in this game was horrible. <laughs> I'm not complaining about that. <laughs> it might just be the controller. Uh -huh. No, the swimming controls and Adam will back me up in this are uh, fucking atrocious. They are atrocious. <laughs> and you push that too far, I believe. Yeah, I did, but oh. I I edited it so that you'll never know. <laughs> so it's Area 42, huh? Yeah, because there's no aliens here. There's no aliens. Oh, there is. Never mind. It's just not an Area 42. Oh, look, a fart joke in Conquer. Ah, uh, what are the odds? Oh, that's coming. 
the plane also farted when it went down. Did it? Did it really? Yeah, it was a huge fart sound as it went down. <laughs> Whoa. Everything farts in this game. Except Poop, Bunker. farting. This is crime. This is, this is Captain King Champagne Comedy. Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, he's, he's like a blue Jar Jar, isn't he? <laughs> well, I think he's an imp. Like the red imp, the fire imps, and the but he's, green uh, ones. Yeah, he's just not on fire. The same species. I think it's yeah. They just I, changed I, I the color of the model. They said that. I think this part of the game had the most story to it too. Now that I think about it, was it. like a story within a story. Well, oh, because the other zones were weren't very strong in that aspect. It's like, oh, go to a haunted house, fucking. You're done. Well, the other the story for the whole game up to this point has been go get money, and now that you get to this part, it's like you got to kill the teddies, and it's like I hate these guys. It's like how do you know who the teddies are? You've never seen these they, guys before. You don't even get any money for the rest of the game. Yeah, it's not you don't money. get any money for the rest of the game. You just you just go along the path and do whatever. Yep. They actually use all this money to buy his clothes. Start. Like yeah. when you're on the phone, like there he's he's at the bar and he's saying like, oh yeah, we're having a last night's round. I guess all the boys are off to some war or whatever. Yeah. And then this is that war, so it's like I feel like this part of the game is like you got mixed up in what's actually going on in the but game. But it it doesn't make sense in the context because like during the cutscenes with the scientist, he's like, and when I unleash my teddies, this will cause the problems. And then, <laughs> but the war's already happening before he's unleashed them. But that's who the war is against. War. Maybe Maybe what? Maybe they just were making the game and then took it in a different direction later on. Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I think by this point they're like, no one's going to care about the fucking continuity in this. It's about a cartoon <laughs> squirrel who gets drunk. <laughs> it's just no one gives a fuck. <laughs> Speaking of giving a fuck, oh. fuck this part. This is wow. bullshit. <laughs> so yeah. frustrating. What, what a bitch. Can't even carry a barrel that he somehow got on him in the first place. He doesn't know if it's there or not because he's stupid. <laughs> stupid asshole. <laughs> yeah, you sit there. Just do that. <laughs> One of my playthroughs in this too, I jumped into the water and lost a chocolate bar. Like, I just hit the water oh, and lost the chocolate bar. It was just like, right. <laughs> oh, that dive you see there, that was a leftover from 12 Tales that they actually carried into this version. You can actually dive into the water. It was in one of the videos of 12 Tales. Oh, really? They kept it in oh. for some reason. See, I was like, oh, great. Now I just have to do the thing. At least you have a car you have a reticle this time. Yep, it's true. It was so hard in the N64 because he didn't know where it was going. Yeah, it was very he's much just trial and error. Yeah, he's dead. He's well dead. You kill a lot of people in this game. Conker doesn't swear or anything like that, but he'll happily kill guys. Just Well yeah, just to get what he needs. Yeah, he doesn't give a fuck. Real humanitarian. He's like Archer. <laughs> it's a bit. <laughs> The archer of his time. Yeah. The magical respawning toilet. That's wonderful. Rare, where do you come up with these ideas? Another guy. You even make a joke about it that you skipped. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's because I died so many times doing this because of those stupid mine. Yeah, you're tired of seeing it. I understand. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think by the time I actually got around to editing this episode, I forgot that that cutscene was even in it, and I just probably accidentally removed it. But anyway. It that makes happens. a joke about where all these guys are coming from. It's not all that great, but you know, what's that? Yeah, toilet paper, I know. Come on, guy. Yeah. <laughs> Look it's at his nice outfit. Line. It's like, it doesn't... We had, you know, the outfit that matched the last chapter, but in this one, it's like he's a, a breakdancer or something. He spends the whole <laughs> game with a breakdancer. That's his normal outfit he wears. Yeah. yeah, it's like he's got like a little hoodie on. He's so gangster. He's got a uh, another one later, though. He's got two outfits. Give him like camouflage. Oh, he'll yes, get. He'll, he, he's gonna get the camouflage. Then he gets a leather jacket later too. Snazzy. Ah. Yeah. They make a Matrix parody. Like that's not original. Or I mean, wait, that's original. There, there's the song. That's original in 2001. No, it wasn't. No, <laughs> in 2001, well, I mean, we already had a thousand of them. Do with the Matrix. No, I didn't say it was original. I said it was more original. Oh yeah. It was... well, go, go to like if you go to Newgrounds and look at any videos that came out in that era. Between 1998 and 2001. Yeah, there's so many. <laughs> there's some good ones, but. You go on. Imagine. But yeah, if... what a weird thing to parody in the game. Like, let's do a Saving Private Ryan bit. Like, well, well that was the Matrix makes nowhere. sense because actually make a gameplay element out of it, which is a really nice yeah. touch. And like most movies, that were just like, let's just put things into bullet time because Matrix, lol. It's actually like yeah. made. 
Yeah, this game came out before Max Payne. Not this the Xbox one, it, but the N64 one. They did a, they did a really good job with the bullet time in this, too. Yeah, no, they did. It's, it's good. They also did a really good job of it in Max Payne. Oh, I never played Max Payne. Max Payne and Max oh, Payne 2 oh, and Max, Max Payne 3 are all very good games. <laughs> How does he light the TNT with the? Oh, I'm not gonna ask that. Video games. Magic <laughs> Ocarina of Time. You had to do it that way in the N64 one. They should just explode because of the impact. But whatever. Yeah. If they want to make themselves more work, then that's that's Rare's problem. Oh, where'd this boat appear from suddenly? That was quick. It's like <laughs> they, it's like they knew ahead of time. Okay, I, uh, I never got this joke way. that happens here. Oh, please explain the jerk, Casey, because I don't get jerks. No, this one, where he, like, knocks him unconscious and drags him away. I was like, what? Well, it's Dave. Yeah, because he's dragging him to war. He wants him, he needs some more people to shoot Teddy's up. It's not but really a joke, it's a plot point. He was gonna go there anyway. Yeah, yeah he was like, like I've done what you asked, tell me more things to do. <laughs> he was just like, I'm gonna hit you now. <laughs> you didn't, like... want, didn't want to give him the option. They need this scene where you open your eyelids and see... Soldiers yeah. in a boat, you know. They must talk about this. Like we have, we, must, we we have to have like the Saving Private Ryan. Like he wakes up and this is happening. Well, why is he asleep? I don't know. Just fucking knock him out before the video starts. <laughs> Sounds the big dude hit him in the head. It'll be great. People will laugh. It sounds like such an easy company to write for. I wish I worked for them. Oh, yes. Like, I, I had to deal with Mark and Joseph and was arguing every day. Oh, this would just be easy. <laughs> I love how that one retarded guy with his eye like, spastic and his <laughs> tooth all busted. They give him yeah. like the most busted helmet with like a gun shot hole <laughs> in the front. <laughs> hey, yes, yes, so yeah, yeah. Prepared. I I thought this was funny where the thing just turns forever. <laughs> it just keeps turning. It's the same principle as oh. uh, in um, Spaceballs when the opening of the ship just keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> over the top of the screen forever. It is a very, very good recreation of Saving Private Ryan. I must say, of all the movie parodies in here, this is the the one that like really nails the cinematography yeah. of what it's making fun of. Uh, Doing it on the Nintendo like they... 64 was even more impressive. I feel like they made the whole game to make this. <laughs> if that makes any <laughs> sense. It, it, yeah, no, I don't disagree. They're like, well, they went and watched the movie, Save Forever Ryan. They said, oh my god, we have to make this with squirrels. <laughs> After they saw Saving Ryan's Privates, they were like, we gotta get in on this parody stuff. <laughs> this parody business is real big. <laughs> yeah, the guy with the brightest tail does not get shot. There's probably a porno parody of Conker out there called Conker's Sexy Day or something really bad like that. <laughs> Oh, this is, yeah. There it is. But it's all cartoon characters, so it's just like, ha oh. He's walking so casually, and yeah. he's like, oh, there's my arm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's like he's in a dream. Oh, there was a, there's, there's a moment in Saving Private Ryan where there's a guy with his intestines, like, spilling out, and it's horrific. Oh, yeah. Just, like, I guess even Rare had the... Uh, now, did the color of these flares change in the Nintendo 64 to let you know that it was safe to move on to the next one? I no, know. they did not. It's a nice little touch. Oh, wait, it didn't. There's only just one green one and the rest of red. Never mind. I thought they went green when you too much know that it was like, good go. Why would I play with such colors? Because gameplay. I mean, to guide dumb people. To guide the, the guide the dumb people. Exactly. Exactly, Casey. Uh, your, your screen's not flooded with tooltips all the time. There's gotta be arrows on the floor, so. <laughs> Arrows. <laughs> Speaking of arrows, who played Perfect Dark Zero? <laughs> I did. I was, I was telling Mark about that actually. He's like, oh, they put they put guides everywhere in that game. They just people are dumb. They don't know where to go. Well, I guess Perfect Dark didn't tell you where to go, and it, it gives very easy to get lost. So they're like, let's not do that again. <laughs> well, why not just make it more linear then? Like, why give you all these places to fucking explore if they're like, oh shit, everyone's getting lost because our levels are too big? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, Casey. I'll be doing a playthrough of uh, Perfect Dark and Perfect Dark. The publishers Zero told them. Point. Ah, <sighs> so what? Remind us again, Conquer, why you hate these guys who you've never seen before? 
Oh. Indiana Jones parody. Yep. Indiana Jones parody, what? Yeah. And he says, titties, I hate these guys. <laughs> yeah, oh, instead of yeah. Nazis, yeah. That's a good point, that's probably what it is. It's definitely what it is. I gotta, <laughs> Everything I gotta in this game is borrowed from something else. But I, I'm not equipped properly. Yep. That's a nice little concept. I like that. I like the context of wear gags. They're great. <laughs> he just gets a cigar. <laughs> Alright, Adam, explain what's, ex explain what's different now. Because you know. You can go into more detail. Yeah, I think I pointed it out a couple of times before, but. You but now we have one gun in chapter 2. Yeah. And oh, that's to, right. And you gotta fight off all these teddies before you even get inside. So they were there originally? No. Oh, yeah, you just went inside. Oh, that's fine. I will say, having dual sticks really made the shooting a lot easier. Yeah, did you get, like, dual Uzis at this point? Yeah, one? yeah, dual, dual Uzis. Originally. Well, it's because with the C, the C control is basically when you rotate it around with it. When you let go, it just eased down instead of just stopping immediately. I understand why they did that, but... At the same time, it's hard to just get in the exact specific position you want to get into. You can't just tell it to stop, stop moving if yeah. don't so, ease in So, because I haven't played the Nintendo 64 one in a while, you moved around with the stick and aimed with the C buttons. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's the opposite of Turok. Because that's one thing, like, I always appreciated uh, Turok's control. I like them moving with the C sticks. Because moving doesn't have to be as precise as the aiming when you're shooting guns, generally. Yeah. Okay, they didn't have teddies in there either. You just unlock the door, or shoot the door rather, and went inside. So yeah, that yeah. was a nice touch. There's a lot less action, yeah. <laughs> They're like, hey, this shooting feels way better. We need to put in more baddies. <laughs> so they did. Maybe it's like a tutorial for the shooting. I don't know. Oh. Without it being obvious. Good point. They're really good hiders, these guys. <laughs> well, they are teddy bears. I mean,. What? What is that? <laughs> They're teddy bears, yeah. Teddies are great at hiding, I guess. According to Casey. <laughs> well, I mean, come on. Did you have a teddy bear when you were a kid? Did you still have it? Where'd it go? I don't know. It's fucking hit. <laughs> Alright, there's, there's a method to your madness. Nah, man, it's right on my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I just made that up as I was going. I didn't think about that at all. Well, well played. I do that so a lot. Right the gas tanks don't explode? No, they don't explode, unfortunately. No, that teddy went Golden right Eye? through it. Oh. Do you remember that in Goldeneye how everything would explode, even chairs when you shot at them? <laughs> yeah, everything. <Just> everything. <laughs> that was brilliant how everything exploded in Goldeneye. That was the best. Man. Didn't matter what it was, you know, shoot computers, they blow up, shoot a freaking office chair, it just fucked over and explodes. Something I don't know if that was tr right or not. I couldn't work out how to reload my gun. Playing this. You press R, obviously. No, I, I don't know. That'd be if it was a console ga or a computer game. Uh oh, I couldn't work it out because like I kept just running out of bullets. I had to just like sh empty my clip to reload. It was very frustrating. I could have just been playing it wrong. There are games like that where you had to just run out to reload. I would just shoot the wall or whatever for it to reload. I was a bit like that back in the day. At least let me know how much ammo I have left in my gun, so like I know. Oh, so you gotta guess. Yeah. I, I oh, love... If you did that in the N64 <laughs> version, you, that would instantly kill you. Yeah. The N64 oh, yeah. version was brutal. Oh, you got Yeah, because those red lasers, red. they did yeah. uh, <laughs> two each, and you hit three of them, so you would just spawn back and die if you hit three of them in a row. Yeah. Now, they, I love how they, they throw the laser grids at you here, but then at the end of the level, you gotta go backwards through this section, and it's time, uh, so you gotta go fast, and there's a billions of lasers. It's so, it's so like, cool. Oh. And teddies, and yeah. it's just like, this is cool shit. It just, you. they just, they just go all out, and I love it. They show great that, contempt that's, for the player. I love the music. That, that's great, that's great, like, game design, though, in my opinion, because, like, they introduce you to a concept, and they, they like, a hundred books by that concept, you know, at the end. So it's yeah. just like, you're like, oh shit, whenever you back to it. No, it was, it was a nice little touch. Oh god, you got shanked again. I'm always getting shanked, I'm the shank master. Good thing you have that everlasting chocolate stuff. It comes in very just handy. Ass there. <laughs> At least I can recover health by chocolate. 
I know. I'd eat so much chocolate if it made me healthier. Oh man. Oh no, not I saw those. that blood coming from. From, from the dead. You did get shanked, I mean. It's just conquer <laughs> bleeding all over everywhere. Spiders. Oh. oh snap. Now we get some lovely <laughs> elevator <laughs> music. This is a nice gag. <laughs> so beautiful. I love it. Brazilian lounge music. <laughs> Such a good gag. I love it. Oh boy. Gift that keeps on giving. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Oh. He no, shanked they me over the laser. Yeah, they can just run through the lasers. I don't give a fuck. Oh, I, guess they, I guess they don't affect teddies. The lighting's just actually like quite impressive. I'd like to say, when you fire yeah, the gun. We keep talking about all the chapters, I think they improved. I think they improved on this the most, graphical wise. Yeah. I like actually, they might have had these things, these elements originally for the, the live part of it, and they integrated it into this part afterwards, maybe. The live has different stuff. Oh. Teddies are also immune to flamethrowers. Teddies are immune to everything. Just well, as teddy bears. Immune. Teddies can't. You can't put yeah, teddies. Yeah, because you know they hide super well <laughs> <laughs> and are immune to fire. That's why I still have mine. Have you ever lit, have you ever lit a teddy bear on fire? I mean, I, yeah. I do like the fact they introduce those flamethrower guys. There's only three of them. You can't kill them, and they never show up again. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the same imps that you made explode. I think they're getting revenge. Oh, but now they're wearing metal. Well, clearly uh, you can't explode. That's true. Oh, uh, full of knowledge today. So much learning, so much. It's weird, like they bleed black now. They used to have stuffing come out in the N64 one. Yeah, I wish oh, they yeah. still had that. Makes yeah. more sense. It does. The black, the black goo is just kind of like, oh, that's a bit weird. Something's <laughs> like, oh, fuck a bear, you're dead. I mean, have you Maybe ever shot teddies before? That's an oil or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's what teddy bears are made of. Black goo. You didn't know that? <laughs> <laughs> didn't you play Scott they, they stuff them with snails and they rot over time. <laughs> I like black. the fact too. I'm just noticing this now, like. They've got the symbol, the red symbols on the walls, and obviously they're supposed to be like Nazis, but the stars remind me more of the Russians who <laughs> they do yeah. anything else. Or China. Or China, yeah. They just like made That's... these things everything bad in World War II. It's like, yeah. not just Nazis, it's, it's like, the Russians, Russian, the Chinese, Nazis, Chinese, <laughs> Chinese, like, communists, communists. or whatever. <laughs> Communism is everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you didn't know about Chinese, uh, was actually different in the beta version. <laughs> was it? I don't know. <laughs> They, they can't very well make them, like, you know, um, swastikas. <laughs> it's like, that wouldn't have gone over very well, I'm sure. In the beta version, it was a swastika, if I recall correctly. I, oh, really? I don't understand Captain. why I couldn't have stayed a swastika, to be honest. They could have made the best Nazis. people find it offensive, yeah, but, for whatever yeah, reason. Yeah, but it's like sans It was actually a swastika, <laughs> but with three sides, <laughs> instead of four. Uh, no, one, no one ever complains about Return to Castle Wolfenstein. Or Wolfenstein. Because it's old. No, but the new ones, they still have the swash stickers everywhere. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, because what's the fucking point of killing Nazis if the Nazis aren't going to have a swash sticker everywhere? <laughs> Maybe it's because it's an adult adult game, but I know that, like, yeah, even in movies. Because, even, yeah, like, even, like, <laughs> like in, uh, what was it called in, uh, Captain well, America? Some countries, it's illegal to Captain. show it. Some countries really? is illegal to show a swastika, you could go to jail for it. Really? Oh, yeah. That's intense. Oh, well, I was just saying, uh, Captain America, you only show like one swastika for like one second, if that, because they know it's like, oh, we can't have kids seeing this. <laughs> yeah, Captain <laughs> America is also not a very good movie. Well, whatever, I'm just making uh, a point. Indiana Jones Jeez. had swastikas in it. Yeah, but that was a good movie. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you can have a good movie with swastikas in it. I'm pretty sure Saving Private Ryan had swash stickers in it. Yeah. Again, those are like rated R. Though, so. Yeah. Nobody went and no one went and saw uh, shit that other Spielberg movie, the one that's in black and white, and I feel really bad for forgetting its name. Uh. About the Nazis. Know. With Liam Neeson. <laughs> there was that Seifel episode where they were in trouble for uh, Schindler's List. Oh. No one ever oh, yeah. saw Schindler's List and saw the swastikas and said, I'm offended by this film. <laughs> I 
people probably did, though. Like, I, I, I work in the service industry. People do crap like that. Yeah, in America, maybe. Well, probably like around this time, didn't, like, video games have bad rap with violence and influence? Yeah. Of, uh, Wasn't you know, that bad rap since, like, the day that video games were invented? Well, <laughs> why is that... Why do they have a do another doctor in, like, the tank? It's a super doctor. You throw syringes. Was that know. their... I'm gonna make a super doctor. Or I'm gonna make a monster. I'm just gonna be a in doctor. In order to be a doctor, you gotta be taller than all the other creatures. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of the few mini bosses in the game, actually. There's not a lot of mini bosses in this game. This is exclusive to Live and Reload. It wasn't there that for a day. Oh, was it? Yeah. This is a great sequence. I quite like this. Oh, this, yeah. No matter which one you pick, he's always gonna cry. Beautiful. Oh, why'd you ruin it for me? Sorry. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, it's good. It's <laughs> frying tonight. Yeah. Um, oh, they changed this, the cutscene for uh, this as well. How does it's they a little longer. It? You'll see. More links to it. Oh, yeah. 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 They made it longer, more they drawn made, out. They made it a little bit yeah. more Green Mile-ish. <laughs> Without the bees. Okay. Yeah, there's no bees. Not in this part of the game. There were plenty of bees earlier in the game. You shot him already. Oh god! You think they could put swastikas after this scene? <laughs> it gets Nuts. better as it goes. <laughs> it's happening so much. <laughs> <laughs> I just like, yeah. and back in his tail. Like, oh snap, but should I not pull the switch back up? <laughs> just try the other one? <laughs> I think I think lengthening it. Have you have you guys <laughs> Xbox? Oh, PlayStation. Xbox. Fur only. Oh my god. That's the only thing now. Oh Jesus! His eyes are coming out. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. I think it's. That's just our action. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, in, uh, in the Ninja uh, Steve he just says that immediately, doesn't he? Like, you pull the switch, and the guy starts firing Congress He's like, oh, I think it's this other switch over here! <laughs> <laughs> a bit strange, Thanks though. for what? For frying me? I love that his eye just pulls out halfway through. I gotta go. I love the fact he laughs at him. Uh, he looked great. He leaves him strapped to the chair. He doesn't even let him out of the chair, he just leaves him strapped there, fried. Yeah, I'm glad I could help. Uh, I'm going now, bye. <laughs> to conquer, you're a prick. Oh. Adam, does the number 53 have some significance? Is that a reference to something? I don't know. That's how many bits the game is. It's 53 bits. <laughs> I've even less in the N64. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought I had a joke there until I said it. And I was like, oh, wait. <laughs> I thought it was being really witty, and then I realized was good one. I wasn't. Well, I'm strongest when I'm not being witty, and I think I am, so whatever. <laughs> Wow, oh, apparently the man disagrees. <laughs> mm. I disagree with this part of the game. It was a bit like, hey, you know what you need? A turret section. Because you enjoyed that last one so much. The bees must have made this one. Yep. Oh, look, it's facing in a direction where there's nothing. That was nice of it. Thanks. There's no radar, is there? Nope. Well, actually, this part doesn't. You have to do something else to trigger it, and it took me a while to work out what it was to trigger the event. I hate it in games when you have to just like trigger an event and I can't work out what it is. <laughs> Annoys me. Uh, like, yeah, you have to jump onto the boxes and do something, I believe. Yeah. Something really silly. Makes no real sense. To make it work. It's a good time. Okay. Well, you get to explore, you get to enjoy the model and all the effort put into it. Yeah. Oh, you That's have to true. walk up all the way there. Yeah. Back then, you didn't. You have to walk up to there and then you have to stare at this door for a bit. They sound oh, Chinese they when they speak, they don't they? The what happens? The the teddies, they sound Chinese whenever they yell. A little bit. Like, <laughs> I didn't sound, get that. They kind of sound Asian. I think they sound kind of Asian. Like, they're just, I don't know. There it goes. Asian so Chinese. there's that little cutscene, so then I'm like, oh shit, now I have to run back into here. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Back oh. then, you just had to jump on there, and they just came out automatically. Yeah, it makes way more sense to me. I don't know why they put that cutscene in there. I remember it was annoying. A publisher told him to do it. Microsoft <laughs> said, hey, you guys need another cutscene here. Yeah. People aren't going to know that they're coming after them unless you do that. 
The cutscene triggers too fast. Uh, put more play time by. Uh, having <laughs> Good, we gotta pad this game by 20 seconds. Can you uh, make us walk up to the door? <laughs> this game's 20 seconds too short. It'll uh, it'll hurt the Metacritic rating. <laughs> wow. I don't think they had a um, Metacritic rating wasn't as important <laughs> as uh, it is now. Yeah, probably not. That's probably why everyone's so scared to make changes. Well, actually, the game that's something we can talk about because uh, Metacritic also measures interest in games, right? Oh. Mm. And now it's got to the point oh. where games are getting cancelled halfway through development because they're not tracking enough views on Metacritic as far as interest goes. Ah, oh, that's garbage. Yeah, so that's oh, the thing that's oh, happening. There's I been quite that. a few games now that have been cancelled just because like people weren't googling it enough, so they just thought... They might have only had one trailer come uh, out that had like no information in it, it was just like text or whatever. And they're like, yeah, we'll just put hey. that out and see how interested people are. And then like, if it doesn't get enough search, they're just like, oh, no one's interested, cancel it. I'll All they have to do is mention Minecraft. Hold <laughs> uh, Hey, hey Adam. How uh -huh. expensive is it to make a video game compared to like a Hollywood movie? Like, is it really, really expensive? Oh, well, it depends how much time you're gonna put in it, how much effort. Well, I mean, I I only work at small like, companies, so oh, okay. I, I GTA I really... Five was pretty expensive. Millions. I, I, overall, I, I think just... it's less than movies, in my opinion. I was yeah, just saying, because they don't do so. that with movies. In fact, a lot of times with movies, if they think it's not getting enough attention, they just they just quickly finish it up and release it to make whatever money they can. Mm, they yeah. don't just immediately cancel cut that, it. Yeah, try to cut their losses. Yeah, because yeah, you yeah, can yeah. cut it up like that much easier in movies than you can games. That's true. Well, I know, but it's like, I just... Because if games aren't as expensive to produce, it just seems weird to me, because like they're all, they also cost more <laughs> money to buy and stuff, too, don't they? Like, they make back more revenue, I imagine? Yeah, it's just a cutthroat industry. You have to be the best of the best in order to make a profit. Yeah, they, they, the they also seem to. They also seem to not care so much about firing hordes of, I mean hordes, <laughs> waves of you know employees <laughs> in the video game industry. And, yeah, I don't know. It just yeah. seems that way. Hordes of hordes of employees. <laughs> <Isn't> hordes. <laughs> they just they just come into like the Ravaging lounge and they're just like. It's just like uh, a bunch of employees like shaking the candy machines like that. Oh, you're all out. <laughs> yeah, how else are you gonna it? have? Uh, how else are you gonna have 24 hour shifts with the QA <laughs> testing and uh, de overseas development or you know matching time zones with overseas devs and uh, you like know, the West more Coast I hear East about Coast the video game industry, the more terrified I am of it. I'm like, oh uh, no, it's, like, oh, oh, it's, oh, it's pretty toxic. And companies. all I know, well, all I truly know is pretty much the tip of the iceberg here. Yeah, I mean, like, when I was a kid, I wanted to go into video game development. Now I'm like, yeah. oh god, I'm glad I didn't do that. You know, it sounds like a <laughs> terrible industry. Now, even well, even that... indie development's pretty fucked up now. Like, if you're trying to get your stuff on the consoles, it adds, like, a whole new layer of pressure to... Even with self-publishing, it's just like, ugh. Well, now we have, you know, the whole Kickstarter route, which seems to be a more and more legitimate... I think it's getting uh, less and less, like, because there's been so many failed Kickstarters now, people are starting to get really wary. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, that's true. I knew like, the like, bubble was going to burst over time. Yeah. I knew it when I saw, um, uh, Double, double, double Fine. Yeah, but Double Fine are actually delivering on their promise. But, I mean, like, they yeah, went over, they're... but they're, they're going above and beyond what they originally... Yeah, they're making like two games out of that budget. When I saw when I saw the footage for that one of them, and people are just worried that what they pay for is not what they're gonna get, and maybe they'll just spend the money on something that has absolutely nothing to do with it, but they claim it does. Yeah, but what Double Fine did was say just like another we need another two thousand dollars or some bullshit. Yeah, but Double Fine didn't do they didn't promise to make anything in particular. They said give us money and we'll make some games with it. Yeah, I I'm not saying Double Fine is bad. I'm just saying. Don't find and their Kickstarter success started this. Oh whole yeah, Kickstarter started bubble. this thing. And well, I mean, like I the think fact that it's there was the that, waste, that wasteland one did pretty well. Um, well, it's like here's the big thing. Ones. That Leisure Suit Larry one, I'm... which was successful, I'm... and then that game turned out just as bad as the original. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Do, do you guys uh, do you guys know about the um, do you guys know about Homestuck? Oh. Right, like this is big internet comic, whatever. Well, they're making a video game and they kickstarted it, just you know, millions of dollars towards this thing, and like, yeah, everyone's thinking like, oh, it's gonna be some big like MMO style game because in the comic that's what the game in the comic kind of is, and uh, they're like, oh no, it's not gonna be that. We're not gonna have any of the characters. It's not gonna be any voice acting. It's just gonna be like a, 
It's, it, it sounds like it's gonna just gonna be another like a uh, uh, like a Monkey Island. What do you call those kinds of games? Point and click adventure, adventure games. games. Point and click adventure. Yeah, it's, it sounds like it's gonna be kind of like that with just shit tons of dialogue that's not voice acted, and you just wander around. And it's gonna be like probably I don't want to. I, I hope it's not two D. But anyways, my point is that like I don't want to spend money on a game that that's like that. I'd rather it be something that you expect it's gonna be. Yeah, but I don't know. Whatever. Well, it's a case by case basis thing, I think. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think people are trustworthy, some aren't, and some just, you know, don't deliver the correct information, it's all big one misunderstanding, but they'll get pissed at them anyway. Well, I, I feel like it's kind of good, because, yeah. like, you know how when, like, eBay first started, you know, tons of people got scammed, they're like, oh, like, oh, I didn't read the fine print in the description that says this is actually just the box, and, uh, you know, now I'm going to be more careful, and, like, like, eBay's still around, and now there's all these methods of... And have, being more liable, you know, with your product and things like that. So I feel like Kickstarter, yeah. you know, the, I've noticed companies having like absolute transparency with their budgeting, like who they're gonna hire, like the workload and hours that need to be put in a specific parts of the game. I, I feel like it, there's gonna be an increase in transparency and uh, more liability. Yeah, and, uh, I think yeah. it's like people are gonna get burnt, and you know, if you if they trust that you're really gonna deliver the goods, because you yeah. know, like a good example would be that um, uh, that police karate cop movie thing that just got funded. <laughs> um, it looked amazing. It was like an '80s style thing. It's fantastic. Oh but, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they I know already, what you're talking about. Yeah, they'd King, already Kung shot. Fury. Yeah, Kung Fury. They'd already shot all the footage and everything on green screen. So it's like, hey, you know, everything's shot. We just need the money to do all the 3D for the film, basically. Yeah. And he showed all the 3D stuff he'd already done because he'd worked in advertising. It was amazing. You know, like something like that's like this guy has already proved that he's trustworthy with the content that he's put in this, yeah. this video and he already he's already, yeah. did, already done everything i can yeah. happily give that but when someone's like we've got this great idea we're gonna do this and this and this and this and here's a uh, <laughs> illustration showing what it could look like uh <laughs> we need exactly a million dollars it's probably it's gonna like, be less uh, than that no <laughs> but if, if i ever created a kickstarter if i've ever created okay. a kickstarter i would uh release a public demo of like one level or something yeah, yeah. yeah. And the demo itself would have the qualities throughout the entire game would be completely consistent. Up until that point, I would not be funded at all, and I would just be getting help from generous people. But yeah. then after that, do you want more of this? Do you enjoy playing it? Do you want more of this? Okay, well, um, in order to make more, we uh, need a little more money. And yeah, we did this on our own backs, but we in our own free time, and it took us a long time because we can't work on it full time. But with your support, yeah. we could work on this full time and make this thing up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's the kind of integrity I want to hold. Yeah. Yeah. Then that makes total sense, and it's I, I, I hope that that's the direction Kickstarter goes in. But I feel like it I is. We'll see. Like now, now you know a, a lot of people probably won't buy from eBay profiles that have like yeah bad uh, ratings, five stars that are only like buyer stars, right? Like they never sold anything before. They're just like, oh okay, <laughs> I yeah. don't know if I should buy from this person. So. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't, I don't know. It's just video gaming is going in a weird direction these days, in my opinion. Like, it's it's a really interesting, like, I, I can't think tonight. What's wrong with it? It's, I like, it's it. an interesting thing to watch. Yeah, like it's. I like it. It's a brave new world. <laughs> this part's well, really slow of. and boring, by the way. I know we're a little off topic, getting back to the game, but yeah, god, this part <laughs> sucks. This part is like the like worst part topic. of war. No, uh, I think part. it's still better than the tank part. So okay, what are we doing list. here? You gotta, you gotta like hide underneath the guy whenever a missile comes. Yeah, or something. something like that. You have to. Well, yeah. you didn't have to just walk like this. Just every time one of those things appeared, you just walked normally, and then you back out when it approaches you, and that was that. Yeah. Pro and tips. then you need to get that guy to walk in front of you when you've got those spider mines chasing you. Oh yeah. Yeah, <sighs> it's a good time. You can't just shove him through this like ahead of you. No, that would have been really convenient. There's no collision. <laughs> There's a whoa, whoa, watching out there. <laughs> That's wonderful. Yeah, I couldn't decide where it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was lovely. Um, yeah, anyway, so what are your thoughts on Kickstarter, people at home? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on where Kickstarter's going to go. Okay, why were you splashed with blood when no one got hurt? Because there's always blood. The ground. There's, there's blood everywhere. The blood, the, blood the ground, is, the, yeah. the ground, the blood is an organic thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the ground bled all over me. It was gross. 
<laughs> Who was that? Gurkha man or someone else? That was me. Oh. I'm a great. You, you were like in a different. Well, good. you were in a different position in, from like, your microphone, so I thought it was with someone else doing a fake like uh, Australian no, I just, accent. I just, I just leaned back. Oh, that's chair. voice acting magic, man. You gotta yeah, caress the mic. Just lean I thought maybe that bit. was, I thought maybe that was Joe like doing an impression of you. I was like, wow, that's not really a good impression of Gherkin, man. <laughs> that would have been racist, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Australians are a race. You don't want to hear that here. I, uh, I was talking to a guy at work. I was talking to a guy at work about Australians. He was from Australia, and I was like, well, they always just sound pissed at everything. No, the Russians sound like they're pissed at everything. Super mad. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel that way, they don't sound pissed, they sound happy about everything, in my opinion. <laughs> G'day, yeah, mate! The, the Outback guys sound super happy. Well, Adam's <laughs> been in a few podcasts with Sean now, and Sean's a very happy, angry man. <laughs> happy <laughs> Two good things to have at once. He, he, he complains about stuff, but he sounds really happy when he does it, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what do you here. think about American accents, Gherkin man? I think American accents sound like your accents are weird because like every every little part of every state has its own accent. There yeah, is, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, That's there true. is no American accent. There's just a whole shitload of little different. They're not even slightly different. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's they're, like they're completely different. Right. Yeah, because like, yeah, like Southern American is like very, you know, like oh hi, I, I can't fucking do it. I don't know, oh, howdy. Yeah, howdy. Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon, I say, y'all. You know, then you got like your northern, like your northern American, where I don't know. A lot, a lot of my relatives I have are no northern. Idea how that oh, they're, well, they're, I'm like in the middle of the north and the south, so I might be a mixture. Oh, where are of the, coast? the south, so you're, you're just oh, in the middle. <laughs> I don't know. Supposedly, West Coast we're or... surfers, California, right? California! Yeah. California! It seems like. They're so laid back, they're just like, no, we're just gonna have. Yeah, because they smoke hot all the time. <laughs> Supposedly, your accent is different, like, depending on if you're a skater or surfer or not, or if you listen to rap or punk rock. Your accent will be different. <laughs> Basically, you adapt to other accents here. Yeah. That's actually true for real life, because you start living in another area, eventually your voice will change, and your accent will adapt to the area. Yeah. We keep well, jumping to the top of watching this. Poor Gherkin man. Well, you know, I'm just sitting here watching Conker shoot guys. What can you say? He's uh, shooting them, and they die. That's yeah. I think this is what I meant when I was talking about war being like this long stretches of monotony where it's like, oh, it's more shooting things. Well, shooting things was a relief after that last part, but you know. But it's like do. right now, I feel like we're just in the middle of it, just being more of the same. I don't know. Oh, it's about to change here. Yeah, the For part the after <laughs> this next little that bit was an is the worst mission. part in the game. Oh, Second worst good. part of the game. You weren't here for the, the worst. Part. The worst part's fucking the surfing bit. Oh, the surfing bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> In both versions, it's terrible. Why is it? What is it with all these games and like having surfing them? Like that was a very much a nineties thing, wasn't it? Every game had to have like a surfer dude, bro. <laughs> yeah. It was a nineties kid thing. California. California. Surfing was so cool. <laughs> Well, but in, in, like, Twilight Princess, you have a, a part where you gotta, like, surf down a oh, mountain. Oh, that's snowboarding, and that was actually cool, and it made sense. They call it Pokemon Move Surf. That's how you get across water. That's true. I like the fact the tank's caricature. That's cute. That's that's where my love of the tank ends. The, the way it looks. <laughs> what, is, what is with the tank? It's a caricature? Yeah, look at it. Like, the proportions are all, like, cartoony and cute. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like a piece I think of they just inherited the model from the original and beefed it up a little. Yeah, yeah, they added that's, one that's, or two extra polygons. It's a green. That's why it's cute. It's, it's yeah. <laughs> 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 they actually just yeah, they got the chocolate health model and then they just put like a little gut on top of it and made it green. Yeah. Called it a day. Well, we're done. This was just a hallway in Bad Fur Day. They actually oh, added. Oh, look at that! Oh, that's unfortunate. Hit combo. <laughs> This oh, is just okay, a hallway? Yeah, there wasn't enemies on it, was there? Oh, okay. There was. Oh. There wasn't. 
Oh. It Load. wasn't, it wasn't. Make up your mind. I'm Bleeding robots. This is the only part. Oh! 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 Oh, oh. oh no! Every time we get low, it's open. Yeah. Like, whoa! Yeah, how tense happen? is this? Everyone, that was like the most exciting thing to happen in this entire episode. <laughs> 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 oh, that was. Hopefully, that's opened the door on the outside. But oh dear. Done, oh dear, oh dear. I think it's one of those let's leg it moments. Hopefully, this cigar doesn't burn me and remove my last piece of chocolate. That, like, would, be, that would be very unfortunate if his clothes caught on fire because of the cigar. I love how he pauses to say that. He's like, well, this is one of those let's leg it moments and the door just opens. All of a sudden, this music just starts playing immediately. It's like, <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so good. It's like, why are you stopping to tell me to leg it? You could have been running and legging it this whole time. You wouldn't be in this situation, idiot. But then the, well, the, the player just, wouldn't know to escape. They would think to keep going forward or something. Yes, yeah, <laughs> just, just keep just walking the, into the fucking switch. Magic. Or they could just put arrows, you know. Yeah. In the original, it didn't even show it's, opening the door. They. I I still, if you haven't played Stanley Parable, they have a great joke about lions before in that game. <laughs> like, here's where you're supposed to go, and it's just, like, ridiculous. Oh, I saw the crossfade. That's because I died in this part about a million times. God. Doesn't surprise me. Is that because I suck at games item, or because this is garbage? Well, you were complaining about this part a hundred times, so I assume <laughs> that you died quite a bit. Oh, yeah. This is it, everybody. This is the part that Gurkha Man hates. <laughs> this is certainly one of them. Did you see that? I jumped out of the tank and immediately went back inside. <laughs> so brilliant. At least you didn't fall off the edge. That's true. That did happen a few times where I was just driving along and I was in the center and then the thing just fucking rolled off the edge. <laughs> it was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> thanks for the, uh, I don't know why you did that, but, but thanks, I guess. So what? Is, so you're just supposed to wait for the thing to like run out of ammo or something, and then you? No, you shoot its legs out from specific spots. Yeah, and you're supposed to be sneaky and stuff. Yeah, because well, it's yeah, easy it's... to sneak in a tank. Well, so what? It, it, so it just rotates. You just wait for it to rotate away, and then you go. Yeah. I see. And then you. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. And you glitch <laughs> through the geometry a bit, and then um, all is well. I remember back in the day, I'd try to find ways to glitch the geometry. Like, I'd just consider it an achievement if I managed to, like, fall out of the world. Oh, yeah, yeah I, I, I spent ages still. in Mario Kart 64 trying to work out where I could fall through the ground. Mario Kart 64? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Mario Kart 64 absolutely. was was an absolute gold mine if you're into that sort of thing. Especially There's yeah. so many shortcuts that they didn't intend to be there. And Princess, uh, <laughs> Princess's Castle, uh, there's so a lot of places you can just like drop through the through the ground or through the hills around it, which is great. Princess's What's Castle, like... you mean Mario 64? Uh... Yeah, uh, there's that one glitch where you can fly up to like the top of the tower and like walk through the wall and like the back and then fall all the way down behind the door and then you're like stuck inside the walls. It's like, how did this make it into the game? Like, what happened? <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff you can walk through while you're up there. So if, and if you look at the back, there's no garden. You can actually see through the back of the castle. So I'm thinking it was a last minute thing. And they got 8 megabytes, so I don't know what else, you know. <laughs> Some of the back where Nintendo just... Cellular Quality meant something. <laughs> Those were the days. One thing that a lot of uh, game developers won't do, and it always drives, it just bothers the shit out of me. Is they won't put like, because like a lot of they'll they'll put like invisible walls up around things, right, to keep you from getting into places and stuff. Uh -huh. um, but they right. won't put ceilings on anything. There won't be an invisible ceiling, so you can work your way up and then just jump outside of it half of the time. Like that was really bad on the turn. Like that was always a problem, and it drove me nuts. I was like, oh, what are you nuts. thinking? You've spent all this time, you've spent all this time putting up all this invisible shit everywhere, and you forgot the one spot that goddamn mattered. I can, I, can I bring up some of the well, they didn't me think you could get that high. PC well, game times have quick uh, saves, right? Sometimes developers just leave bugs in the game, even if they're known, just because of like the low likelihood of players experiencing it, or just how close it is oh. to release date. Unless it's Donkey Kong 64, and then they have to ask Nintendo to pack you an expansion pack with every copy. Yeah. <laughs> 
you, you said something about quicksand, Gherkin Man? No, I was just saying something that bothers me in games on consoles, particularly, because PC games have quicksave and consoles don't, but it's like, oh, yeah. the, the 360 controller has that little black button that doesn't get used for anything, and the PS3 has the, <laughs> has, and PS4 have the select button, which doesn't fucking get used for anything. Turn that into a quick save. Everyone yeah. do this from now on. Just let me tap it. Instant quick save. Don't, I don't want to do any fucking yeah. menus. I don't want to do this shit. That button never gets used in any. It gets used to skip cutscenes. Is basically all I've ever seen it used for. <laughs> Use it for quick saves. Please. I've seen it used for alternate menus. Oh. Alternate menus. Yeah, alternate. Like, like scoreboard or. Oh. Or no, no, I think quick saves are much better used for that. That's true. I, I thought here? this was like... So, I, I thought this was a weird boss for this part of the game. It's a reference to the Exorcist. Oh yeah, that doesn't load whatever that was. <laughs> black screen. What's, what's <laughs> so supposed to be on that black screen? She had like a possessed face or something, maybe. Adam, do you remember what was there? Uh, I think it was just a close-up of the little girl just at another angle. I wonder why it doesn't yeah. load. I don't know. Set censored, man. Recensored. <laughs> censored a face. It was really bad. <laughs> can't look at a thing at Teddy a Funkin? Angle. Teddy Funkin U47. There you go. It was a porno. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's an interesting well, little fact for you. That the game's broken. <laughs> and that thing has eyes. Everything has eyes. eyes. That's the same torpedo that, um... <laughs> The buff you man was using in bomb, the bomb girl. level. Yep. 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 Yeah, a bird's a bomb. <laughs> yeah, let me just grin there. It's yeah, it's, you're a bastard, Funko. Um, yeah, bastard. But yeah, like, because this is like a big part of the game. Like, it's one of the largest missions or chapters in the game. And like, I, I was thinking like, oh, we're going to have a really epic boss for this, but it really isn't. It's like, oh, it's this weird fucking girl. Well, the, so like, it, that, what's hey. weird about it is The Exorcist was a horror movie, but the reference to The Exorcist is in the war chapter. Yeah, like... I wonder if she was originally supposed to be in Spooky oh. and they moved her into this part of the game. Mm. Is that, is that oh. you reckon that's possible, Adam? Considering the reference? Uh, it could be possible. I'm not sure, but... I. I don't even think it would have been spooky because it has more of a war thing to the whole model itself. Hmm. But it could have been something else. Like, what if she was writing on like a big Frankenstein thing? You know? Well, the teddy yeah. basically is a giant Frankenstein thing. I don't know. It just seems like it's really weird here. Like, I was I, ever since the the poo monster boss, I was like, there's gotta <laughs> be another one of those epic, like masterpiece bosses in this game, and there really isn't. Well, in the original, they didn't even show you where you're supposed to go. You just had to guess which yeah. feed you're supposed yeah. to go to. Good time. Which sucks. <laughs> True game design. <laughs> you fuckers work it out. <laughs> so, like, this Zelda is not good unless there's no instructions. Yeah, I don't mind instructions. I just don't like instructions that appear every time I restart the game and it has to tell me what a blue rupee is. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm just fucking... <laughs> 40 hours into well, the game, guys. I, I know what a blue rupee is. Oh god, Skyward Sword was awful with that, and you couldn't skip any of the text. It was always just the slow scrolling text that you couldn't speed up. I I, I admitted this on the show before. Don't get hit by rockets. Rupees. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it looks like you're gonna get some bit of an instruction here about what rockets do to you when they hit oh you on the mic. Rockets hurt you. <laughs> you lose chocolate when you get hurt. <laughs> it's a risk Actually, reward thing. Chocolate somewhere. It's a risk You can reward only thing. carry up to six chocolates. This yeah. should be a tooltip that'll be like, did you just try to press B to skip these instructions? Well, <laughs> press the button oh, to skip the instructions. Those instructions are needed because I hate it when less players like they skip the instructions and then they don't know what to do and the you know, what you had to do <laughs> was I will, I will say, because I've been playing Vanquish and I, I skipped the tutorial because it's fucking boring. But of course, I didn't record it live so you couldn't hear me complaining, but I, I, I was <laughs> over halfway through the game and I realized I could slide around in slow motion and shoot things. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, this would have made the time. game so much easier. <laughs> and then I worked out One I could slide around in slow motion shooting and nope. throwing grenades at the same time and I was like, oh, that's why this game is amazing. <laughs> but you so, like, I, so boring. Everyone I've played through, um, 
uh, when I play through stuff, I would usually skip like the story bits. I'd be like, ah, we don't care about this, just move on. But it was never like game stuff. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> And then when you when you fight a character, you're like, why am I fighting this guy? Wasn't he yeah, my friend? What's going on? No, just, well, I wouldn't make jokes about it, because I, I understood it was part of the story. Like, I just... <laughs> I'm just gonna fight this guy for whatever reason. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> There's no narrative in games. <laughs> I will say, Casey, I, I've, I've mentioned this in the uh, Wind Waker playthrough that, that's still happening at the moment when this is uh, going up. But uh, I've, I never finished Skyward Sword. But because I'm going to record it for the show, I guess I'll have to. Oh, yeah. But after Twilight Princess. Yeah, I, I actually use the Wii Remote. Yeah, no, of course. I actually quite I like the Wii Remote in Twilight Princess because the bow and arrow feels like a million times better with it. You, you have to have a Wii Motion Plus to make a uh, Skyward Sword. Wii yeah, you know? like I've got one of those Wii controls with a Plus built into it because it came with it. Came with that and a uh, oh. and a copy of the, the that soundtrack CD, which is oh double kill. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that soundtrack yeah, CD. Yeah, no, be... You have to be so fucking precise with these rockets. It's like splash damage, guys. It's a fucking rocket. Nah, <laughs> nah, fuck yeah. Water. I think that's kidding. the last one. Last two. <laughs> yep. You nope. got you gotta kill both of them in one shot, don't you? Not in yeah, one shot, no. but you can't let them you can't let them submerge or else they both come back up. Oh. Or something. Oh. I, that's what it seems like. Oh right? pro. The I'm the proest at video game. games. And by that I mean if you've ever seen my show before you'll know that I am not the proest at video games. <laughs> oh, these guys are just the gifts to keep on giving. Boom. The, is there more padding in this game? Oh, what? I just want to be over. God damn. <laughs> what was that? Yeah. That was a blast. There you go. I guess he that was a blast. Now to sort out the rest. Well, sort to rescue the little girl. See, also, like... it really is a little girl, and <laughs> well, just watch. It's, like like it's kind of funny <laughs> how Conquer all, but like he's been killing people all this time for his own gain and whatever. That's pretty bad. But now he's like, I'm going to like extort this child, and it's like, wow, Conquer, <laughs> you're a. <laughs> Your character's just, just well, changed. Well, only basically so died good. throughout the game, as far as I'm concerned. Uh oh. Oh, hey, buddy. How did he de get that across? Ah, uh, it's you guys. It's just one guy. Oh. Well, well maybe that pink is a living thing. Oh. <laughs> She's the bitch. That motion blur is very nice. Yeah, it was actually pretty nice for the N64 version too. They well, have the Mask had that motion blur, but it was kind of not so great. Oh, so good. <laughs> it is like the bone cracking noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's your Exorcist reference. I like that joke, because <laughs> I don't even have a daughter. Yeah, that's what makes the joke <laughs> just throw the reference in there. Yep, yeah, it's just there. Uh, why not? Yeah, probably the same reason why she's a boss here and not in the horror chapter. Just throw it in there. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like, it didn't need to be in the horror chapter. I just thought that, like, you know, for the war section, you'd have, like... Well, I, like, oh, even like this was fine. Stuff. Well, like, this would have even been fine for the war chapter, but it just wasn't, like... As epic as I wanted it to be. I don't know what she'd really do, because Rest of it was very much like World War Two. I guess, like, they could have replaced the bear with, like, the bear Hitler. <laughs> well, I mean, Put a I mustache on him. It, I think that, like, yeah, a like, they could have been like they had a Wolfenstein, you know, with, like, Hitler in the mech suit. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, Annie, I, I this do... is where Annie comes from. League of Legends. <laughs> Just kidding. I do think this is a good design for the boss. You know, it's fine. It's, it's, it's just very kind of exciting. Crazy, like, it's just kind of like, oh, I'm going to shoot him with the tank. Oh, this guy with the tank like, does not want to do anything. Yeah, <laughs> fucking, that guy's useless. Oh, You're not actually shot. supposed to hit the boss at first. You're supposed to hit the projectiles. Not the projectiles, but, you know. Uh, yeah, the gun. Yeah, the gun. Yes, yeah, the gun. Why didn't I shoot, think of that? You shoot the guns. Oh, look at that. How exciting I don't think is that? Did that in the original. I don't know. This is, I, I never had that hard of it. I think I immediately ran for the tank and just like basically didn't have any problems at all with this. I was like, ah, oh, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? I know exactly what to do here. 
You have to be like stupidly precise with the the gun. Uh, I think like I failed I, here quite a few times because the game like crashed on me one like froze once and stuff. And by this point, I just was just skipping the cutscenes. I was like, "Fuck this!" <laughs> I just, I just want to get past here and finish this goddamn game. Look at the shiny, glowing weak spots. Uh, I don't mind weak spots. Vanquish is full of weak spots, and I'm having a ball shooting them. They're great. Sometimes yeah. they're a little bit more obvious than other times, but you know. <laughs> oh, I know. It's just that they. Like, the that attacks never last long to be interesting. I don't know. Yeah, because you hit them to end the attacks, that's kind of... Yeah. Oh. yeah, but I mean, like, how cool would it be if you had to, like, run around and dodge all this stuff for, like, a little while, you know? I don't know. No, I just kind of just get annoyed. <laughs> well, it's like, that's... Like, I think Legend of Zelda does the best job with its bosses, and... I don't know. <laughs> yeah, Zelda has... Easy. Zelda definitely has some fantastic bosses. And that's Absolutely. the thing is they'll, they'll make you they'll make you sort of like witness the spectacle for a little bit first, you know. Was it? Everyone says that as, as much as Skyward Sword sucked that it had the best boss in like the whole series. You know, that Karoktos, or whatever his name uh, is, Kaloktos. I don't know. That guy you like cut his, you cut his arms and legs off and then cut him up with his own arms and legs. Uh, people uh, really uh, liked that boss, and I thought it was horrendous. Really? <laughs> if you ever discovered sort, yeah, well, if you ever discovered sort, I'll explain it more. But yeah, it just annoyed the shit out of me. I had to fight that boss for like thirty minutes or something before I finally was able to kill it, and I was just super annoyed by the end of it. <laughs> like, that sounds that, like a personal not problem. Even yeah. attempts, <laughs> not even physical well. attempts. It was all like just in one sitting, and I didn't die. And I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> what am I supposed uh, to do with this? Oh, I hate that <laughs> in games. I've had that happen where I'm just like, uh, just doing the same. They're just fighting something no. forever, and then I'm just like, why is this taking so long? It's, what am I doing wrong? I guess the short, the short of it is that I was trying to use the, the like master sword to stab him, but he was like, you know, on the ground, and it wasn't doing any damage. I just kept like, maybe he just has a lot of health. So I just kept attacking him with. <laughs> <laughs> and no, you're supposed to pick up one of his swords that you cut off and stab him with that and one shoots me. And I was like, oh, what? why don't you use the master sword? It's supposed to be a dumb master fucking sword. Because that's way cooler if you use his own swords against him. It's like in Mortal Kombat when you beat someone to death with their own arms. Yeah, yeah. adamantium, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, there's a little red button. Where'd that button come from? I wish that was more like the Red Stimpy skit with the Stimpy and um, the Space <laughs> Madness episode. Will he press yeah. the big round bright button? <laughs> the episode. How dare do you, Chris? How dare do you not agree with me? Do you know who you're talking to or something like that? <laughs> you can't take my precious ice cream bar. <laughs> I've had this bar since I was a child. Oh, People all are always trying to take it from me. <laughs> Now I did like this part a lot. Wait, I don't I know why. Out. I died here a lot. Uh, I, I I loved the escape from the self destruct sequence. I don't know why. I thought this was so fitting for like the end of the game kind of moment. Yeah, it's quite difficult though. It's a very not really cool the end of the game, this. but uh, well, end, uh, end enough. <laughs> the sequence after We're... this only takes like ten minutes. Yeah, well, this looks like you practiced this a few times. <laughs> yeah, it took me quite a while to work out exactly how to do it, and there was some I couldn't, like, literally couldn't get through without, like, getting hurt. Oh. Like that? Yeah, like that. Well, that one I got it's through like a couple Catherine of times without getting right hurt. Now. But, yeah, you can see that I know when to pull out the gun and everything, I'm like, pretty much like, oh, yeah, I got this shit. I got this shit sold. What? what? Pro? Yeah, says it's fully sick uh, crawling there, you crawl master. If you got a ceiling, I'll crawl through it like a, a total. Uh... This sh that that's bullshit. Because the camera gets stuck on the geometry and shit while you're trying to get around, and you're like, am I in the right spot? The, I don't know. The music keeps getting more, like picked up and stuff too. As you're going Ooh, through this part, like it's quite immersed and it keeps uh... yeah. Yeah. I think the programming of the music is a uh, very clever one. Uh, oh. Oh, hi guys. Jump on the door! Oh. Yeah, push! That's what I did. You get a, you get a rocket launch <laughs> Yeah, it does no well, splash damage. You don't even have to do anything. Uh, con context sensitive rocket launcher. Uh. Oh, there you go. Looks like the door is closed. It, it is. is closed. No. Doesn't make a difference, Adam. You just walk through the closed door. It's fine. It's no, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, you great. Walk through the door, 
Oh, yeah, have down, down the beach. This is a clever re It's a clever way of reusing old assets. This. Yeah. It's, it's the classic like Metroid thing. Oh, Metroid like, does yeah. this all the goddamn time. Well, because it's like now you're escaping from the compound, you know. So it's. Yeah. Yeah. This is and very much. I'd say that Town they, they probably got they probably like like Metroid gets away with this. Let's uh, let's do that. <laughs> well, I mean it's it's the same assets, but it's just so much more epic when you're like the music's picked up and you're just running down the beach and there's shit thrown at you. It's, there's these guys crazy. just kind of like down, phasing in out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait for me! Wait for me! Where you go? Hey guys! Oh, hey, the uh, uh, guy hit on? in the head another Who's earlier is back. Oh my giddy yeah. That's very It's good. much more funny things he could have said. He could have been like, oh, heavens to Betsy! That would have been... <laughs> heavens to Betsy would have been no. <laughs> Not enough games oh, say oh, heavens to Betsy. Here, <laughs> He's to oh my nice holy acting, great mom. <laughs> Oh my great holy... Oh, I don't know. Bucket of snails. Fuck. <laughs> what does that even mean? I just come up with things. That's what I'm good at. So good. I just, I just, this you whole episode, a, I've just about everything I'm good at. It's, it's you're getting a gold star, Casey. Pre <laughs> enjoy it. And he's back to his regular clothes. Yeah, he just wakes up, just like he woke up and he was in the clothes, he woke up and now he's out of them. So he undressed him and dressed him up again? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. It all feels After quite uncomfortable now, doesn't it? <laughs> so the, <laughs> boy. <laughs> I, just, I imagine the general just like, I better get him out of these clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My goody out. <laughs> ten pushes. Oh wait, those fucking ten pushes. Like this, yeah, I love this, uh, this sappy cutscene here. It works. Yeah, I like the fact that this guy's been a complete idiot for the entire game, and now he's like a, he's fucking Yoda <laughs> with his war wisdom. Maybe he had an epiphany. He must have had an epiphany. Oh, his helmet says 53 too. Maybe they all said 53. I thought someone that said 51. Oh. Maybe that was just... <laughs> the horror. The horror. Classic Well, this line. is probably a speech from a movie. Oh, that's right, this guy. <laughs> he wasn't even dead. Oh, dear. Yeah. Now I remember. How do you remember the countdown? You were passed out. Well, you can see it in the corner there. I mean, it's right over his head. But, uh, yeah, yeah. He just looked at it. Yeah, that's a nice, nice little thing. I like yeah, breaking the fourth wall like that. All these load times. Wait, is that the end? Oh, no. Here we go. No, that's not the end. It's just it's like... Just like, like oh, is is Gurkhaman going to give us clothing? <laughs> Spoilers, this isn't the end of the game. Oh, look at him go. Uh, cartoon. <laughs> yeah. Cartoon invincibility. It's well, I love how excited everyone is here. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> they're not even in June. No, they're just laying there. Just having a rest. Well, they're cartoon chilling. characters, you know. Kind of cartoons. They're yeah, like, they get like the little holes in their heads. <laughs> Bullet holes are overrated. <laughs> What's with these stairs that are so fucking big? You gotta jump th over them. Like, well, what is that? They're made for games? people, but he's a squirrel, so he's very small. <laughs> oh. How can people fit into those boats? Uh, it's you're getting technical, Adam. Video game logic. Boats. Well, that's it. We uh, survived the war, and it was a good time. Uh, thank you, Casey. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Joe. Uh, join us next week as we finish this game, and we all go home unhappy, <laughs> sad, with our partners dead. Oh, I just yeah. spoiled the ending for anyone who hasn't played it. Oops. <laughs>